So this video is about taking Arsenal and using it to enhance your product um, imagery using Arsenal and Canva. <laughs> Sam, here's the gourd, and I've got the T4i set up with Arsenal on top. Basically, there's an alternative way to be to take this uh, photograph of this. I'll show you the before and after, um, just taking it regularly and then taking it with the uh, Arsenal. And then uh, we'll look at Canva and how to shape that up even more in post-production. So I'm going to go into Arsenal. I'm going to go ahead and join the Wi-Fi network for it. So then once it connects, um, then you'll get a live view of, you know, what you're looking at. And uh, then you have the option. It's pretty cool. You have several different options. You can, you know, change your focus from single point to multi-point to whole scene. Um, you can actually go and change the stacking, so you can have exposure bracketing, focus stacking, long exposure stacking. You can turn that off. Um, and there's a lot of different other features, such as, you know, just going manually. You can do a time lapse. It's not currently support video on this camera. This is T4i. I tried this with a couple other cameras, um, and that it didn't work for that either. I think you have a, I'm not sure. I'd have to look to see what cameras you can use this with. But anyway, regardless, um, if we go back and we do the smart, what you can do with uh, product photography is great. It's obviously overkill. You don't necessarily need to, but it's kind of fun to um, have on the fly. Uh, it just makes it easier to just kind of set it up and and uh, throw a bunch of different items at it and take a bunch of photos all at once. So it just, uh, you know, it speeds things up a little bit. Um, it also just makes it easier to achieve the best result you can because sometimes, you know, you're tweaking around. You don't know if you're getting just the right result, if you could tweak it a little bit further. And sometimes it just, it can take a long time with one item to get that r perfect shot. This just kind of cuts that down quite a bit. So um, it goes ahead and you can go ahead and take the photo. I already uh, put the focus point on there. Um, it'll take uh, the shot then for you. And uh, what's cool is you can also learn from this. You can uh, go and look at what uh, Arsenal is doing within the smart mode. And then you can go to manual mode and basically go and duplicate that and get an idea of, of what's going on with Arsenal and then achieve that same result. You can learn what's being tweaked. Uh, and in that sense, it's almost like a teacher. Uh, if you're new to photography, this is a great way, you know, to kind of learn in a way. Um, there's all kinds of different things you can do. Um, I'll have other videos that will show you uh, other parts to it. But for now, um, I'll show you one other thing, which is basically the um, exposure bracketing, which in this case, um, you know, is, is definitely overkill. And you don't, um, you don't necessarily achieve a great result. I think the bracketing works better, you know, outside and for landscapes and things like that. Um, you can bracket here, um, and I'll show you what that looks like. But I found that uh, the result wasn't as good as just taking um, the smart shot. Um, gives you the depth of the field and all that, but it does take a while for it to process through. It does take you know the three shots and then combine them together. And one thing I noted that um, once it you do have those shots, you're going to want to save those right away because um, in your camera it'll sh save the three, see these three shots here? Um, it'll save all those three, uh, but it won't have the stack that it's building right here. You'll see it's building the stack. It won't have that. Uh, you'll have to save that uh, right away. So um, uh, just something to note. Um, anyway, so this is kind of, it's enhancing the stack a little bit, but you can, you get an idea. Let's go back to like one of these photos, you can see it's a little bit darker, but you still have some depth of field there. Um, here with the enhanced stack, there's a bit more, you do uh, get a, a slightly different look and it's kind of interesting, but in a way uh, distracting at the same time. It, it's um, a little too much glare on this particular product anyway. Uh, but if you were to use it on something else, you might find that it works quite well. Uh, you can play around with it, obviously. But what's cool is we're going to go ahead now and go into Canva, and I'll show you how to basically take this image 
and just enhance it a little bit using a number of their templates. Uh, so you can basically go through, take a number of uh, product shots, go into Canva, uh, put them into a, uh, some templates, and then have a bunch of social media po posts all lined up that uh, highlight a particular you know, grouping of products or just one product from different angles and so on. So for now, let's go into Canva. Okay, so here I am within Canva, and uh, I'm not a designer, so I often leverage uh, a lot of the designs that Canva already has and kind of tweak them, and it'll enhance a bit of what I'm doing without any cost whatsoever, cause there's, except for a slight bit of time. So what I've done is I've gone in here, and there's a product presentation. Oops. Okay, so here I am on the first page, um, and I'm just going to take out, of course, their photo, and um, then I'm going to put one of the photos I have in and um, Canva is really easy to use. Uh, you just have backgrounds. Uh, you'll end up, I'll end up tweaking this and I won't go through the whole thing of tweaking. I'll show you what it ends up um, looking like at the end, but you can kind of get some idea on exactly how easy it is to use. Um, it's just, you know, moving stuff around to where you want it, um, changing the text, and you're good to go. And it's all free, which is great. Um, there are some premium images you have to pay for, but that's about it. So again, I'll, I'll go through this and then fast forward to result. Um, what's cool is uh, this presentation is basically several different pages in one. So you can take a pro uh, several different products, plug them in, and then you have uh, those to use on a regular basis within social media, with an ad or landing page. Um, you can also go, you know, with other, uh, templates, obviously here's, uh, another template and you can swap out the image here, um, for your own. So there's a lot of different templates, uh, to use and especially if you're not a designer, um, it'll allow you to take the image that you've enhanced with Arsenal, or you can, if you don't use Arsenal, of course, you can just go ahead and combine several different images and then, um, you know, use Photoshop. But then if you're using Photoshop, you probably <laughs> don't need to use Canva either. But if you're not a Photoshop user, this is a great way to, to um, leverage for free, um, you know, other people's templates and get a pretty decent result. So it's often hard to get um, product photos that look, you know, really good. And what uh, Arsenal does really well is make that happen on a regular basis consistently. And you can achieve the same result, but if you're not really into um, photography, it's gonna be a little more difficult. Uh, so Arsenal can be your kind of like assistant, and then you'll be able to get a lot better photography um, out of it, and then enhance your landing page with some different photos. So um, again, I'm gonna fast forward and we'll see what this looks like. Here's a quick rendition of the previous image within Canva. As you can see, um, I just did it really quick. And uh, obviously I'd want to alter some of the colors so that it kind of matches the wine tumbler a bit more. Uh, maybe bring in more of the red and blue into the, the background and, and the squigglies or not even using the squigglies and using something else. And in fact, you know, this newspaper thing uh, might not even fit into that, but have some other uh, background parts. But this gives me a, a template for which to work off of. And then I can just kind of like play around with it. But the imagery is often much better, uh, you know, using some bracketing or getting a really more a more in-depth image and if you know how to achieve that then you know it just shortens the time you know using the bracketing just shortens the time it's just a uh, a way to leverage it but you have to or you might want to enhance it a bit further different backgrounds you can put it into and kind of plug your uh, product imagery into so that you can spread it on social and it's more than just an image you get some cool in-depth images but it's also uh, got a good package around it, so to speak. So it's fun to play with and quite easy to do. N very cost effective because Converse free uh, for the most part. There are some, you know, if you get into the pro version, of course, it, it does cost, but otherwise it doesn't. And uh, you can use it, uh, uh, do a collection like this and just set up a whole bunch of them. And then you've got uh, a social mix that you can use, um, you know, throughout the month and like let's say Valentine's Day coming up, you can prep all your stuff for Valentine's Day and have all that set up so that you uh, can then be in production and have your uh, social media posts already uh, lined up for the season. 
Okay, so obviously that's overkill. Um, most people are going to be using Arsenal out in the field. Um, landscapes are great to use this with. And uh, I'll be experimenting and producing some other videos that kind of um, go into some normal usage rather than, you know, being a pro photographer necessarily, but using this in a way that can leverage uh, your time and also um, make imagery even better. It's not necessarily so much about being lazy. It's more in terms of leveraging the tool, uh, much like you would leverage someone else doing it for you. Um, and in that sense, you're able to save time. So uh, stay tuned because I've got some more videos with Arsenal coming up. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you then.